How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to show you how to recover data off of a corrupted USB flash drive. The story goes like this. I went on vacation with my very good friend Chirping Mermaid to Hawaii. She took a lot of pictures and then she stored them onto this flash drive. After she loaded everything onto this flash drive, it became corrupted. When you plug it into the computer, it shows only 64 megabytes, but this thing is a 64 gigabytes flash drive. It also prompts you to format it because there's nothing to read on it. So today I'm gonna to show you the steps I take in order to extract the files from a corrupted flash drive like this. The first thing you wanna do with any kind of troubleshooting is not exactly to jump right in, just take everything apart without even evaluating it first. The first thing you wanna do is you know, plug it into the computer and verify that whatever they say is wrong with the drive is indeed what they say it is. This is an important step because sometimes you might find something else that's really easy to fix, but it might be overlooked by whoever is trying to use the device. Now that I plugged it in, I see that, okay, yeah, it prompts me to uh, try to format it. I go along with all those other things that other people tried, such as uh, data recovery from the drive itself using various softwares that you can forget for free. Sometimes they offer software where you can actually try to use it and see if it can recover any kind of data. And then if you see that, yes, you can recover data, then you can pay for the software and then uh, get your data afterwards. So you, then you actually have a reason to pay for the software because you know what you're gonna get. Rather than buy some software, have a minimal chance of it working and you might be out, I don't know, $50 or something on that software and you still won't get any data back. So I went and tried three different freeware uh, data recovery software and none of them were able to do anything because the drive appears as unformatted and then when you go into the storage information inside Windows, it also says that there's only 64 megabytes. There's something clearly very wrong in the hardware level. So with all that done, I verified that everything else that everyone else tried uh, did not work. So now I can actually dig deep into this at the hardware level to try and figure out what is wrong. So I previously opened this up already. So now it opens up pretty quickly. And then I'm gonna open it up to try to um, look into this chip over here and see what's wrong. Looking up at the close-up of this chip, you can see there are some watermarks at the bottom of the memory chip over here. This indicates that there's likely some sort of water that got in here and then it dried up. So let me just try to explain what I'm trying to do over here. There are a couple things that you can do to try to recover the data. One is heating it or cooling it because sometimes with these chips, if you heat it or cool it, give it a little bit type of thermal shock, it might actually make the chip work. So you might be able to elevate the temperature uh, while plugging this thing in and all of a sudden it things might work. But judging from the fact that this chip has some watermarks on it, there might be some residual water particles or something, some impurities in the water that got left under the chip, which is causing two different contacts to contact together. So one way that you can think of it is you can actually go and try and dry out all this stuff uh, try to wash it back out or whatnot. So the steps I'm gonna take is from the least destructive to the most destructive, okay? Um, I'm of course trying to not destroy this thing at all, but if you bring it too much heat, uh, the chip might actually melt off. So the first thing that you can do is use a hair dryer because this does not get as hot as one of these uh, heat guns. So what I do, you know, you just kind of heat it up like this until you know it's somewhat hot to the touch and then I plugged it back into the computer. So with the first round I did not change anything it still appeared corrupted and it asked me to format it still. The next thing I'm gonna do is use a heat gun. Now this thing I've used it multiple times and I know for a fact that if you put something about one inch away from the output of this thing it can melt solder. What is solder? Solder is basically this thing. It connects the chips onto the board. And if you happen to stick the chip here and start melting solder, the whole chip might just you know fall off because it melted it. And you're gonna have a really, really hard time trying to put it back on because 
it's super duper delicate. There's there must be like hundreds of little pads underneath. The idea here is to not really melt things off or anything, but just kind of bring the heat level high. Just kind of get things heated, perhaps kind of evaporate away some water that might have been trapped underneath. So what I did with this, with the second try here, is I'm using this heat, heat gun and I'm going to heat it a little bit higher. I heat it a little bit hotter each successive time. After I'm done with one time, that's not too hot, okay? I go back to the computer, plug it in to see if it worked. And it turns out um, I did this maybe two or three times and um, it still did not work. So finally, I got a little bit more aggressive. I use a temperature probe. I meant this little infrared thermometer thing. What I did was I just kind of waved this on top of it with a pair of pliers, of course, because uh, this gets really hot and you don't want to, you know, burn your fingers or anything. So I'm just kind of heating this chip up, trying to do it evenly. And it turns out solder melts around uh, 410 degrees Fahrenheit. Something was not that good about this measuring device and it only read up to 250 uh, no matter how hot I got but I just kind of wanted to do in steps. I basically kind of held it above here about about 10 seconds at its maximum you know I did kind of like a little bit hotter a little bit hotter and around the fifth or sixth try after I did it when I plugged it into the computer I was able to read the data. About 50 gigabytes of pictures and videos that used to be lost, recovered. I looked through the files and Chirping Mermaid told me that she really liked this one picture where she was diving underneath water and near the dolphins and stuff. So I took one of them, printed it out. Now I'm gonna surprise her with these pictures and videos. I know she was super duper sad over losing these pictures. So I'm like, okay, you know, let me go take a look at this USB drive for you. I'm not sure if she gave up hope or anything, but um, a lot of people looked at this already and uh, they weren't able to uh, recover the files. She did tell me that she looked up some data recovery sites um, and they wanted to charge $2,000 to recover the data off of this drive. So imagine, I think she would be very happy that uh, I can give her this data. So let's go and see what she says. Here's a picture. Let's bring it to her. Are you filming? From the thumb drive? No. Where yeah. would I take that picture? I thought you somehow took... Was I ever next to you when you're doing that floating I, thing? I have no idea. Wait, really? No way! You covered the pictures? Your drive doesn't work, but I have your pictures. All of them? Yeah. From this? Yeah. <gasps> no, are you serious? <laughs> no, 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 no. Really? Yeah, I do. Oh my god. <laughs> All 54 gigabytes. Of oh my god. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. Beat the bush. Today I'm going to show you how to recover data off of a corrupted USB flash drive. <laughs> the story goes like this. I went on vacation ah. with my very good friend Chirping Mermaid to Hawaii. Oh, all the pictures. So epic. <laughs> I looked through the file and Chirping Mermaid told me that she really liked this one picture where she was diving underneath water and near the dolphins and stuff. So I took one of them, printed it out, and now I'm going to surprise her with these pictures and videos. Ah! <laughs> no, no, no. No. <laughs> you want to watch a video on how I made your flash drive work? So I took one of them, printed it out. Here. 
<laughs> watch a video. Printed it out. Let's go and see what she says. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really appreciate it. That was so nice.